Howdy! So it's been a while since I've done a video because my mind's just been muddled. I've had all kind of things going on or not going on. And I just hadn't really wanted to sit down and do one. But this has been an interesting week, especially the last three days. And so I decided I wanted to do a video. And it'll go out on Saturday. Jeez, uh, what is this? June. That's the best we need to know. So let's get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the Affordable Care Act. I call it ACA. Some other people use this word that I think they use it in a pejorative way. I am not using it. So I'm going to call it the Affordable Care Act. And on Thursday, the Supreme Court basically said that the intent of the act was to help people, not hurt people. And so they let it stand. Now, here's my take on the whole thing. I have insurance because of the Affordable Care Act. I just do. There's a lot of people who are able to get health services because of the Affordable Care Act, whether they have insurance through the health exchange or not. A lot of people haven't really thought about that thing that used to be pre-existing conditions. Well, that's gone because of the Affordable Care Act. And I'm of the opinion that the majority of people who don't want it are people who aren't on it. It's people who aren't even affected by it. They say they are, but they're not. You're not the rich people, because the rich people, who cares about them? <laughs> you know, all the 1%? I don't care about them. They've got health insurance. And people, if you already have insurance through your, you know, where you're working, what do you care? You're just, you know, basically being toadies for the rich. I don't want to hear it. So your opinion means nothing. Pretty much like anything else that you don't have your, yourself that you decide you need to step into, your opinion doesn't matter. It doesn't affect you at all. It affects other people. That's number one. Number two, on Friday, the Supreme Court let, basically, they said that same-sex marriages are fair and equal. And you know what? Way to go. It should have always been that way. You know, I don't understand what people really have this thing about it. If you're trying to tell me it's because of your religion, you're wrong because it's not in the Bible. You can make up anything you want to. You can interpret anything you want to. It's not in your Bible. It just ain't there. <laughs> you know, let's, let's just face it for what it is. Now, I don't know who wrote this a long time ago, but they basically said that people who are scared of homosexuals or homosexual marriage are actually worried that they just might be or that someone homosexual is going to hit on them because they're going to find them attractive. Are you really that shallow? Really? Let's, <laughs> come on. It ain't going to happen. Nobody cares what you think. They don't care about any of that stuff. Let people do what they want to do. How does it affect you? So they live next door. So what? I'm sure they're not the worst neighbors you're ever going to have who live next door. Matter of fact, most of them are probably going to be pretty cool. So live and let live. The Supreme Court got two things right this week. I'm stunned myself. And actually, I'm one of those things that they got done. Uh, actually, they got three things, but I'm not going to talk all that much about one of them, except to say that Clarence Thomas seemed to have remembered, at least for one day, that he was black. That's all I'm saying. Now, talked on those two things, let me talk about number three, which is the topic of blogging. Wednesday night, I went to a local blogging get-together. I've been to, basically, what, two of these before, but it's been a long time since I've been out of town, and they've had some get-togethers before then. And one of the things that you start to find out when you get to a blogging get-together is that there's a lot of people who ain't blogging all that much. And that's a shame. I blog a lot. I have five blogs. I love blogging. Yes, it takes up a lot of time, but you know what? It doesn't take me that long to write most posts. I uh, wrote a post this week, for instance, about my 14th year in business. And, you know, there's going to be a link up here somewhere regarding that. I wrote about answering some questions that came up during this blogging get-together. I mean, I've been blogging for 10 years now. There's a lot of things that I know. And I find that I like sharing that kind of information with other people. I love the concept of blogging. I like social media. I can't say I'm totally in love with it because there's a lot of mean people. As a matter of fact, it's possible that this video could end up with some mean comments, although if the language is bad, you'll never see them because they're not staying. But, you know, there's this thing that also says that social media can't be everything. 
And that's why it's great to be able to say, let's have a local blogging get together. Or we will have tweet ups every once in a while where a lot of us who talk to each other locally on Twitter will meet somewhere and we'll be able to, you know, get to know each other better. It makes the tweeting experience a little bit better. I hope that a lot of you folks are doing the same kind of things in your community. It can be a lot of fun. And you know what? That's all I've got to say. I don't know how long this video is, but I know this is probably one of my shorter ones. And I've covered three different topics. You know, you're not going to get three for one like that all that often from me. So there you go. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And, you know, leave me some comments if you've got something to say. And if you don't have something to say, leave me comments anyway. <laughs> I will talk to you later.